Yeah. Yeah. Is tonight the the American premiere of, of seeing this uh, series in America? Yes, this is the U.S. Uh, premiere of the Mossad 101. It's uh, second season, already aired on Netflix. So you can see it here, around, wherever you like. <laughs> season one is on Netflix, has been on Netflix. Yeah, it's still on Netflix, and now season two come up here. When will it start on Netflix, do we know? I think it's like uh, three weeks from now, end of November, beginning of December. I don't know if they uh, published a, a date, you know, but we'll know it. We'll know it. Okay. The program is called? Mossad 101. And apparently it's very popular. Yes. <laughs> yes, very. With subtitles, not dubbed? Not dubbed. Subtitles, it's bought also for Turner TV in South America and Netflix all around. And it's a, a fictional account of? Total fiction missions that uh, a crew of brilliant and talented scriptwriters, after long brainstorms, uh, wrote like a real mission with a real agent and a real uh, nemesis, but it's all fiction. We cannot use nothing from the real stuff because you know, it's top uh, <laughs> undercover. But are the enemies enemies of Israel? Some of them, yes. Some of them uh, enemies of all of the world. Right. Yeah, it's it's the bad against the it's the good against, yeah it's good guys against the bad ones. We case, need to save the world, you know, every day, every morning. <laughs> that's Israel's purpose, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Someone says. Someone says, and we pay the price, maybe. So, have you considered the, the idea that the Mossad is out, it, being out there, that some people might consider that the Mossad may be used as more like a scapegoat in case something goes wrong? Say, well, maybe it's a Mossad trick yeah. to, to make the Mossad more visible for conspiracists. Yeah, I think, like you, that happens. Happens. Yeah, I write it. You can write it on the newspaper. You every week we have something like an oper a new operation that has discovered. So I think there is no question of imagination, and everything is beyond imagination. You feel, you know, the feeling. You open the newspaper, or you see the breaking news, and you say, "Who wrote this scene? Who wrote this? Who, who could have yeah. thought of?" That's right. So reality is ever. Brilliant than fiction, than our ability to write, to invent. Is there a risk that this might be bringing potentially negative attention to Israeli Secret Service? Uh, I don't think so. I think we are all uh, mature enough to know that without, with or without, with or without media, with or without uh, press and etc., with or without creators and uh, television productions, things happen much serious and much uh, beyond imagination than every series you can see about spies and uh, intelligence. We are the children game. Is there a risk that the Arab world might think, might use this also more to say, oh, the Mossad is involved and everything bad that's happening is, is the Israelis' I secret? Think, I, I think we cannot uh, give uh, much uh, influence on the shoulder of one project like Mossad 101, like uh, entertainment drama. I think it's, uh, we can be much modest than that. Nobody count us. They don't need television. Both. They'll do it anyway. Both sides. They don't need uh, ideas from us. They are much brilliant than the TV series. <laughs> on the other hand, do you feel Unfortunately, that... Unfortunately, I mean. Do you feel that you're bringing honor to the Mossad by showing this kind of thing? I think that uh, it's, you know, it's decades that the Mossad have its name and its respect and its honor. Um, I don't think it's al also in this case. I don't think we can influence to the better to, to the rest because Mossad is such a brand that uh, everybody remember what happens years ago with uh, Antebe and Sabena, etc. So. It's entertainment. Let's enjoy. <laughs> Thank you.